North Dakota isn't a location that movie producers usually choose to make films. However, when the writer of the film is from the state, the odds are much higher that lights, cameras, and action will feature the state. Krista Kondrowski recently covered the shooting, a new drama that includes a familiar face to KFYR viewers. Stand it up, stand it up. Keep going, keep going. A KFYR keep going, news vehicle arriving going, at the go, scene go, of a story go, isn't unusual. Going, a station go, go, car go, go, being used go, go, as a prop go, go, for a motion go. picture is. And stop. The scene being shot involves a news conference, so the producers of the movie invited KFYR TV to be an extra for the shoot that portrays a plea from the parents of a kidnapped child to the abductor. It's really a heartfelt endeavor about getting the message out of trying to save young people or any person from the trap of sex trafficking and abuse. Rolling sound. Rolling camera. Scene 42, take two. The news conference scene was shot eight times from multiple angles. Other scenes were delayed or impacted by winter weather. So we had to change locations a couple times. I spent most days outside with snow bibs on, heavy skidoo boots, and um, bundled up as much as possible. It's very cold conditions for everybody. If you have any information about Brooks' whereabouts, please come forward. The film covers the difficult subject of human trafficking, and Barb Silbernagel hopes the movie makes a difference. If we can help one person, this movie will be a success. Silbernagel says once shooting is finished, the editing will begin. Post-production and rewrites will take place in North Dakota and New York. She hopes the film will be ready for film festivals in 2024 and theaters in 2025. From Bismarck, I'm Krista Kidrowski reporting for your news leader. Okay. All right, well, Krista joins us now, and we want to know how did the director get the idea for this movie here in North Dakota? Yeah, it was interesting. He was here filming for another movie, um, ran into someone, uh, a local person, and he, she was kind of saying how, you know, there's not a lot to do around here, and he asked her, well, why do you stay? And uh, she said, well, she, she was trafficked here. Mm -hmm. um, so it just goes to show that, you know, this kind of stuff does happen within our communities, and it's really important to talk about it. So mm -hmm. very interesting that it just, you know, was kind of by happenstance and that kind of inspired this project. All right. Well, thanks a lot for that. Yes. Thank you, Monica.